Hello, my darling phoenixes. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Hello, darlings. Daniela here. Mm. Read D-Y-L-F. Oh, I already have messages coming in. And welcome to Wisdom Wednesdays, where I'm going to be sharing with you the tips and tricks to being able to own your own power, embrace your own power, without being that dickhead that everyone thinks that uh, you have to be if you're going to embrace your inner power. And today on Wisdom Wednesdays, I'm coming to you a little early, uh, because I've got some things set up for this evening, so I've got to come to you early. Um, so while I was here, I'm taking, uh, I want to say a day off, but uh, it's a rain day here in Virginia, a nice rainy day, so I can't go out side and uh, do any of my side jobs, so I am staying in, uh, staying nice and comfy, and working on some fabulous things to bring to you guys. So, also with my uh, my, my business partner down here, where is he? There he is. <laughs> my business partner down there, he's, he's falling asleep, bless his little heart. <laughs> but anyway, coming to you for Wisdom Wednesdays, and I'm talking about what is courage? You know, there are so many people that think of the warrior spirit and think of courage as something that has to do solely with going to war or, uh, you know, facing down some huge external demon or, you know, uh, uh, facing down a huge army or huge odds of some kind. Excuse me. And in a way they're right, but in a way they're really missing the mark. Courage, I have found, is persistence in the face of fear. And that could be fear of anything. That could be fear of your own success. That could be fear of failure. That could be fear of embarrassment. That could be fear of breaking your own glass ceiling. That could be, I mean, for me, it was the fear of, you know, what am I going to turn myself into if I continue down this path? And it's kind of... I was turning my, I is, was, am, <laughs> turning myself into a better version. But there is always that voice in the back of your head that instills fear that says, but you're going to lose a part of yourself in the process. A part of you is going to have to die. That's freaking scary. I don't know if you really want to go through with this. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Have you guys ever had that? Ever had that voice in your head? I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, but courage is persistence in the face of that fear. So like today, super rainy day. Woke up and uh, the side gig was like, hey, obviously you guys don't, nobody has to come in today if you don't want, you know, because it's raining. Like nobody's coming in today. So I ended up with an extra online business day on my hands. Fantastic. But part of me said, eh, just stay in bed. You know, you don't have to. You know, what? You know, it was doing a lot of that. And I sat down with myself and I thought, why am I feeling this? Why, why, what is causing this? And every step you take, every level that you get to, there's going to be new level, new gremlin, new level, new demon, new level new boss. As I like to explain it to um, people from uh, my generation is that, you know, we played a lot of video games, so we have this kind of uh, understanding in our head. Uh, but basically, anytime you get to a new level or you finished a new temple, you have to deal with a new boss. And that boss is going to be badder asser than the boss from the previous temple, but not quite as badass as the boss coming up, which you don't know about because you haven't faced him yet. So when I'm describing these things to some of my students, I say, new level, new boss. And they get it. Because anytime you level yourself up in your life, whether you're creating new habits, whether you're breaking through fear, whether you're crushing that inner critic, whether you're breaking outside of your, you know, your own glass ceiling and, and you know, <clears throat> excuse me, going outside of your comfort zone, uh, you know, and going for that job that you didn't think that you could go for, you know, or, uh, you know, going, you know, putting your art out there or whatever, new level, new boss. So courage is persistence in the face of that fear, in the face of that new level of your internal critic or that new level of that internal fight that you're going to be fighting. Another thing that is crucial to mention here is the process of endurance. 
in courage. And this is something that doesn't get talked about a lot. The process of endurance in courage, because everyone, you know, likes to tell you that once you've, you know, beat your inner critic, that that's going to be it. You know, for the rest of your life, it's going to be easy sailing. You're going to be completely in the flow. You're going to be manifesting your dreams. You're going to be doing this and that and the other. How often have we actually found that to be the truth? Right? There's a little bit of dissonance between what they try and tell you is going to happen in life and what actually can and will happen. And a huge part of that is the endurance factor. It takes a lot of resilience. It takes a lot of emotional and mental and spiritual resilience. Sorry, as I flip my hands back and forth uh, because I don't have my tripod on me right now. I was just like moved to come to you very quickly and Spirit was like, hey, why don't you go live? Um, so I just did. But it's about having that resilience. It's about having that trust in yourself that no matter what happens, you'll be able to figure out a way to pull through. No matter what boss you face, no matter what the inner critic says, no matter what gremlin you come up against, no matter what, that yay though it may take you, make you take a step back, that it's not going to defeat you, that you're not just going to stay put, that you're not going to stay stuck there, that you're going to continue to learn, that you're going to continue to grow, and that takes a lot of bravery. It takes a lot of courage. Here we go again. They all feed into one another. Having the resilience to continue to stand up to your inner critics and your outer critics and your new level, new boss idea when it comes to building your dreams, whether that be a... Uh, personal fitness or physical goal or a business goal or um, a spiritual mental mindset peaceful peace of mind kind of goal doesn't matter it's all across the board having that resilience and having that endurance to continue to live for the dream to live as the dream Instead of letting these bumps and bruises and new levels, new bosses, you know, new inner critics, outer critics get to you, it takes a whole lot of worthiness and bravery and self-esteem and building up that mindset, holding on to that clear vision, and that takes endurance. And that is something that nobody talks about. Nobody talks about how on your way to that dream, you've still got to hold on to the dream. They say, oh yeah, you know, just visualize, you know, your $100,000, you know, just visualize your $100,000 and uh, then you'll be good. Just do that, you know, for a week or two and you should be good. You should, uh, you know, have changed your vibrational rate sufficiently to be able to pull in that $100,000. You should be good. Uh, you should be on Easy Street. And if it doesn't come to you via Easy Street, then you're doing it wrong. Does that not sound like a load of bunk to you or what? They say anything in life is worth fighting for. And that includes your goals. And sometimes that fight needs a little endurance. You can't just go in there and wham and bam and, you know, knock out your inner critic and expect it to never pop back up again. It's something they don't talk about. So, wanted to share my thoughts with you on what actually courage is because we're not out there facing physical demons even though some of us are most of us are not out there facing the physical demons all our demons are internal or external manifesting is internal but point being the fight the good fight that's going on right now is going on in you it's going on in me. It's going on in my students. It's going on in your family and in your friends. It's going on all around us. And it takes real courage, real resiliency, real endurance, real bravery, and continued action and faith in yourself in the face of these obstacles, in the face of your inner critic, 
Excuse me. Woo. Get all gassy. In the face of setbacks. In the face of maybe stumbling and falling off the wagon. Not beating yourself up for that and letting yourself stay stuck at that place. This inner battle is happening right now. And it's up to you whether or not you want to continue to fight the good fight or if you want to stay stuck. Now, I know some of you out there are going to say, but Daniela, I'm just so fucking tired of fighting. Believe me, I get it. <sighs> fighting does definitely get tiring. <laughs> but what I learned is, just to close this out, for those of you who think that I'm just so fucking tired I can't fight anymore, because I cannot tell you how much I hear that, but I'm just so fucking tired. I used to tell myself that all the time, too. Number one, if you tell yourself that, that's how you're going to be. But number two, that's really where self-care comes in. I discovered that I was so tired of fighting the good fight because I never took a break from fighting. I was always fighting, whether I was fighting myself, whether I was fighting my parents as a teenager and a 20-year-old who didn't need no nothing, right? <laughs> You know, whether I was I was fighting my friends or fighting my teachers or fighting, not necessarily outright, of course, but that struggle, that grudge, that holding, that need to be seen and be recognized and be heralded and be understood and fighting the good fight. <laughs> you know, straining, right? Ooh, even just doing that makes me, ooh, I don't like that feeling anymore. But that's, that's not what it's about. We don't, if we don't take a break from fighting, we don't have the energy to continue fighting. So hence me starting to wrap on self-care and taking baths and spending time with yourself and for yourself with tea and books and blah, blah, blah. Because the tea and the books and the baths don't really matter in and of themselves. It's that you are spending time nourishing you however you like to be nourished. And sometimes that requires experimentation because guess what? You don't know how you'd like to be nourished because guess what? You've never done it. And what does that make you? Fucking tired of fighting the good fight. All of us are spirit warriors here. All of us. If you have shown up here, you are a spirit warrior because guess what? My energy called you in. Period. End of story. But I know you can be tired of fighting. I know you get to that point. And that is what we were talking about here. What is courage? Courage is having the resilience, taking the time to learn how to love yourself, to give yourself the resilience and the endurance to continue fighting the good fight for the light for yourself, in yourself, so that you can keep expanding your borders, so that you can keep expanding your glass ceiling and coming up with new and better goals for yourself and your family and your life. So that you can enjoy and experience all that you want to in life. Because that's what we're here to do. We are co-creators. We are made in the image of the creator. What does that make us? Creators. What do we want to do? We want to go out there and create stuff and share it with everybody. Breaking through, having that resilience having that endurance, spending that time with yourself so that you can, can continue to have the energy to fight the good fight, to have the courage, to fail forward in the face of setback and not be deterred. That is real courage. And I think and I know that all of you have it within you. So take it from me. If I can do it, you can do it. So, coming to you from this lovely rainy day, this has been Daniela of Reedy YLF on my Wisdom Wednesdays, coming to you a little earlier this afternoon. But thank you for watching, and I know you all have the courage. If this is piquing your interest, shout out to me. Let's talk, because this is what it's about. Helping people cultivate the endurance and the resilience to hold fast to the goals and the dreams that you have because we get taught that it's going to drop into our lap and it's all going to be easy street 
Is some of it easy street? Yes. Is some of it manifesting mama power awesomeness? Yeah. Is all of it? No. And that's what they don't tell you. So, with all my love, Daniela Ridiwayala. Thanks for watching as always, my lovelies. I will see you soon. Mwah!